welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on a brand new video. Today is super exciting because I'm going to be reviewing a fragrance that I know so many of you guys have had your eye on since the brand said they were launching and that is none other than Vanilla Diorama from Christian Dior. As soon as I saw the ad and the pictures and just the description, the notes, I was like, okay, I need it. I need it. First of all, I love all things vanilla. And so I had to get it in my hand and try it out. Now this was a complete blind buy and this was a pretty penny. Hope you guys enjoy this video and see something cool. Definitely stay tuned if you're new, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on your post notifications and let's jump into it. I do want to say that when I purchased my full size bottle, I was lucky enough to get this two mil okay two mil tester bottle right over here so i will be giving this away to someone along with some extra goodies but that way one lucky person will be able to try out vanilla diorama before making the splurge of a full-size bottle so i will include that in today's giveaway and you guys know my giveaways are very simple you just have to be a subscriber here leave a comment follow me on instagram hey follow me on tiktok for extra entry points and i will announce the winner in in the description box. You just have to leave a comment about the video, of course, and that's it. So enjoy and good luck. So Christian Dior has been pumping out a whole lot of fragrances lately from their private line. It's kind of crazy. I do feel like they can slow down slightly. I'm not going to lie. I do not like when brands overwhelm us with launches. Like I need it to slow down. I need some anticipation. I need to miss a next launch. I don't like them back to back. And I have heard that there will be another launch after Vanilla Diorama, which is kind of crazy. I'm going to say what I'm expecting. I'm expecting something rich, a little spicy, sweet, warm. That's what I'm expecting in my head. When I looked at the notes and the description, it is supposed to be a gourmand fragrance. Now, like I said, I got this from Saks. They were having an incredible deal. So, um, I had to take advantage of it. And here is that beautiful bottle. I know there are a couple of different sizes to select from. This is probably the second to largest size that you can select from. And it's 120 five mil in Canada. I do believe that there are only two sizes to select from, which is the 125 mil. And then the larger one, I think is 250 mil, which is just insanely large. But in other parts of the world, you can get a smaller uh, size, which is a lot more affordable in terms of the price point. And I really love the Christian Dior bottles from the entire, the entire design. It's very simple, very classic, very elegant, and it would just look gorgeous on any vanity. I really, really love it. I like the, um, label that they have going on. I like that it's like a 3D almost and you can really feel the quality. And I really like that this is like a magnetic closure. So those are the aspects of the bottle that I really enjoy. This is probably my fifth fragrance from the private line. I have Feb Delicioso and I have a few other ones that are actually a very smaller one, like the 30 or 40 mil, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I really, really like this line. I think that they do great fragrances that are very approachable yet unique. So reading from Fragrantica, the top notes are orange, pink, pepper, lemon, middle notes are cacao, rum, and cardamom. Base notes, we have bourbon, vanilla, sandalwood, and patchouli. So, I mean, notes sound incredible. I didn't want it to be the same as Feb Delicioso because I already own that. And um, Feb Delicioso does come off a little powdery on my skin. So I was hoping that this was going to be a totally different, unique vanilla that is still very approachable and likable. So let me just go ahead and spray that on my skin. The atomizer is gorgeous, like really, really gorgeous right there very pretty. Now, when I first got this, it was a blind buy, but I have been playing around with it for, I want to say three days now. So I've gotten a wear out of it outside of the house. I've tried it going to sleep with it on and just wearing it throughout the day in the house. So really a lot of variations when I tested this one out. 
Let's talk about it. The first initial spray is quite strong. You definitely get a burst of this like citrusy tone in the opening, but almost instantly you will get warmth and that cacao note will really shine through um, within seconds. To me, even though it's not listed in the note breakdown, I get slightly cinnamon vibe and it could be from the cacao and the cardamom mixing together but you will get this very like beautiful gourmand spice in terms of like cinnamon and nutmeg and the cacao. It's very, very pleasant and slightly, just slightly powdery, but not overwhelming. overwhelming. Once it starts to dry down, the citrusy tones really kind of subside and you get more of this warm, slightly spicy gourmand scent. I still get a touch of freshness in the background, almost like this aromatic feel to this fragrance. And the vanilla, which we're really intrigued of, is beautiful. It's a vanilla that is warm yet fresh. Um, I don't find it like a deep, heavy vanilla. I still find it very, very wearable, but it's definitely in the forefront of this fragrance. Like if you're looking for a vanilla scent, this is it. But to me, it's not leaning towards a dark vanilla. It's a little lighter, it's a little fresher. There is spice in this fragrance, but it's a very suave, light, kind of gourmand spice. Very unisex. This one is so, so unisex. I wanted it to be slightly sweeter and it is not, which can be a good thing, but I just wanted a little bit more sweetness in this fragrance. So if you're scared that it's gonna be overwhelmingly sweet, it definitely isn't that at all. Mm. It's a very cozy, comforting scent, not leaning towards the sexy, sensual. It's more of that cozy, cuddle up kind of scent. Um, you're wearing a nice big sweater. You might be in front of the fire or you're going out and you're just like very cozy in a large oversized scarf. It's very cozy. It almost smells like or feels like a hug when you spray this on yourself. You will get that kick of patchouli in the dry down. So there's a little bit of a greenness in there. It's not a dirty patchouli. It's not overly heavy, but I definitely pick it up on my skin, which almost makes this fragrance slightly unique. Like when I compare it to other gourmands, other vanilla scents, it's slightly unique. And I think it's that patchouli in the base mixed in with all that other notes that adds this like slight greenness and slight, um, how can I say this? It kind of adds, adds a little earthiness to this fragrance. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Now I will say the dry down is not my favorite compared to the opening. I definitely enjoy the opening a little bit more than the dry down because in the dry down, there is slightly, once it dries down completely, there is slightly this almost like herbally medicinal vibe and it's more of like a green tone so there is that uniqueness to this fragrance and I don't find that this is like a mass appealing scent to me this is still leaning quite unique very unique I just wanted it to be a little sweeter slightly more spicy that's my thing with this one now, a ton of people are comparing this to Feb Delicioso, which I own, and I wanna say that I can see where the comparisons are coming from. I can totally see it because they slightly have the same vibe, that very cozy, warm, hug kind of vibe. You kind of get it, you're gonna get this from this also, as well as Feb Delicioso. So I totally understand the comparison. But to me, Feb Delicioso, I should have held the bottle here, but to me, Feb Delicioso is a lot more richer and a lot more spicy, a lot more warm. There's more kicks of um, those spicy gourmand notes in that one. And the vanilla tone in Feb Delicioso is a 
deeper, darker vanilla compared to this one. This one almost has this slightly aromatic feel to it, so it leans a little different, but the vibe, the vibe is, is quite the same. I wore this to bed. Um, I put it on after I took a shower, I want to say at around 8.30 p.m., 9 p.m., and the next day at around 10 a.m., I could still smell it on myself. Like I woke up and I could, yeah, I slept until 10 a.m. <laughs> and I could still smell it very well on my skin, on oh no, my clothes. On my clothes, definitely projected a lot louder. On my skin, it was a little closer. So great for those close encounters. Like someone that's very close to you will definitely smell it, but I could smell it on myself. So it definitely lasted a really long time on me. Um, during the day when I wore this out, outside lasted slightly less, but mind you, them time I had taken a shower, moisturized my skin, and then applied this onto the skin. So it definitely played a factor on the lasting ability of this scent. The sillage is great for the first, I want to say three hours. Like I can still smell it on myself and those around me can smell it also. And then after that, it goes a little closer to the skin, but it's still a pretty long lasting scent. It's not just, it's just not overly loud. Now I tell this to everyone, if you want your fragrance to be loud, over spray. Do not be afraid to go in with 10, 15, 20 sprays. I know it sounds like a lot, but trust me, that's when you're gonna get the entire day of a fragrance and really allow it to project wherever you are. And trust me, I've gotten compliments and questions from fragrances that are very, very faint, and then they just project loudly just because I overdid it, especially on my clothes. Like on the clothes, the fragrance will definitely stick a lot longer than your skin. So that's my um, kind of little tip for those of you who find fragrances that don't last on you. But overall, I want to say that this fragrance is still very beautiful to me. I'm glad that I have it in my collection and it is different. It's just, if you have Feb de Lisieurs, you're going to get the same exact vibe. Maybe differences in terms of the scent, but the vibe is very, very similar. If you love your vanilla fragrances, you are probably going to really enjoy this one. Just mind you, it's not just a vanilla scent. There is a little bit something going on in that dry down that gives it a little bit of this fresh, aromatic, slightly medicinal vibe. And I'm not saying that to scare anyone. That's just kind of like when I smell it, what I get. If you love the fragrances that I already love, if you love Feb Delicious, if you love Lune Feline from um, Atelier Dior's, I think that's how you say it, you're probably gonna like that one. You are probably going to like this one here. I do really, 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 really enjoy it, but it's not a love for me just yet. And I said just yet because I feel like I'm probably gonna love it a lot more when the months are colder and it's just going to sit better on the skin. A ton of fragrances that I have that are very warm and deep and vanilla in the summertime, it just doesn't vibe with me at all. It doesn't sit great on my skin. So I give it time and wait till winter time or fall to really test a fragrance out when it's this warm and this spicy. So for me, this is more of a fall and summer scent. So I'm excited to play around with it when the months get a little cooler, but all in all, it's a very cozy scent. This is something that I know I will love to wear just after I took a shower and I want to cozy up and watch a movie with the hubby. I think this is a perfect scent. It's very, very cozy. You know, you're going away for the weekend. After you take a shower, you're going to be cozying up with your significant other. Spray this one for the colder or cooler days during the summer, like maybe evening. I think I could pull this off a lot better than those hot, humid days. It just feels, smells a lot better when it's slightly cooler. So yeah, this is my review on Vanilla Diorama from Christian Dior. I really, really enjoy the fragrances that they're coming out with. I have smelled a few of them like Eden Rock and not all are a love for me. Not all I find are worth the price point, but a ton of them are 
beautiful. If you've never tried out from the house, the private house of Christian Dior, I would definitely recommend and comparing it to other private lines from designer fragrances, their price point is actually attainable, especially if you are getting the smaller bottle. So keep that one in mind. You don't have to get the 125 mil. You can get a smaller bottle and it's a lot more affordable and you can really play around with their fragrances. They have so many to select from. And I actually want to do a video um, sharing the ones that I already have and give you guys my opinion. I want to get some samples from the line also and do like a one video for all of their fragrances. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it wasn't all over the place. Let me know in the comment section if you have tried this out and if you haven't, um, let me know if you're gonna, if you're gonna buy it, if it's on your wish list. So thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you for all the love and support. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I will see you all on the next video. Ciao.